previously on episode number 17. But who cares, guys? It's Saturday morning farming, baby. Let's get into it. I'm Parker right back here quick. Like 21 mile an hour is good. It's realistic. But in farm sim, man, I would I would love to see 27, 28 mile an hour. Seems like the perfect speed. Dude, be... what is up, guys? We are back for episode number 18. We're making a Craigslist deal. I found this sweet disc on Craigslist. It's a land doll. We're going to pick her up. It's a little big, but it was a good price. It was a good price. It was 60 grand, and it was like, it was almost like it hasn't even been touched. And actually, the it's, 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 it's a, okay, so weird story. It's a farmer's son that posted on Craigslist. The same one I bought the 7810 from had this one up for sale too, and they had this one on Craigslist. I was like, I thought I saw that at the farm. So now I like I was like, oh dude, that's for sale too. I'm gonna go buy that thing. So we're gonna make a quick Craigslist deal. Brett. Oh Brett, 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 Brett's guys, Brett is here too. The hired man is here. Now we got his tractor all set up perfect. Brett, come check out the international. 7130. She's all set up with IHS. We're still keeping the I the case IH disc. I like this disc. It's great, but we need another disc and this one's actually this one's actually technically a plow so which which is going to work nice it, it, it's it's kind of an expensive plow but it's going to work nice brett favorite tractor 7130 right uh -huh. or maybe no is, is it the 7810 or is it the 7130 um so probably 7130 oh okay okay sweet i knew you're always a case ih guy so I, fi I figured it was international, but the 7010 does work, does look pretty good, and that's what we're going to be throwing on her, the 7010. Guys, if you're enjoying this, let me know by hitting that like button. Brett's going to get started, and then I'm going to bust my butt back here to help out Brett quick, because he's going to, oh wait, because he's going to go ham. Now, wait, shoot, Brett, what field should we start on, actually? Wasn't there another cornfield we harvested, or was this the only cornfield we've harvested so far? I think this is the only one, Okay. Well, we'll start plowing this, and then we'll work around that sandy corner over there. It's still, guys, it rained last night. It's still too wet. So, by the time, by the end of this video, I'm hoping it'll be dry enough to where we can get the combines out and keep harvesting. But the live stream tonight, the live stream tonight, be there like six or seven, right after the the main squad channel live stream, or somewhat sometime. Okay, after Spencer TV's live stream. So, like an hour after my live stream on the main channel gets done, I'll be live streaming on Squad Farms uh, tonight. So, yeah, be there be there we're gonna harvest some corn baby oh dude oh we almost took out a stop oh did we take out a stop sign we missed it okay i haven't hit a sign yet sweet dude hopefully you guys are, hopefully you guys are liking this if you are let me know by smacking that like button you don't have to smack it just give her a little tappy tappy just click her once and you're good okay we're gonna head okay so like i said it's the same farm we bought the 7010 at i'm gonna take the comments now the comments she'll be able to pull the disc even though it is a big disc the truck should be able to pull her it's not like we're putting it in the ground oh dude we should try putting the disc in the ground and having the uh the comments pull it that'd be sweet i've already done a video trying to plow because on youtube i've seen a couple trucks try to pull like a three or four bottom plow through the ground which is pretty cool you could you know you needed like an insane amount of torque for it i've seen that on youtube and so i tried in farm sim but not many of you guys watched it though i thought i thought a lot of you guys were gonna watch it but we're gonna go over here i hope to these guys are retiring i think the this family farm is retiring i hope to maybe buy some of their ground next year that'd be awesome if we could i feel like you know but it's back here i didn't see this disc right you didn't see the disc either when you were at this farm did you the, the land all it must have been hiding way back here no, I didn't see it. Yeah, I was like, because the 70 tens were sitting up here, and then the disc was just like on way back here. Oh, dude, we don't want to hit any of their chickens right there. Oh, boy. Oh, we hit their shed instead, dude. Oh, okay. That's probably not good. Uh, oh, oh, we don't want to hit their dog either. That's That would not be good at all. Oh, dude. we I admit, I dodged their chickens to run into their shed. Okay, so here's the laying all disc. We paid $65,000 for it. It's kind of a lot kind of a lot but dude i think i'm gonna like this disc for some reason this blue and yellow color i like it it's something new i like it now i haven't heard of the brand land all at all but some i think some american farmers use it so i was like hey why not get it i found it on this site and i was like hey this seems like a, this seems like a cool disc i want a big disc to be honest so the 7810 is gonna pull there now dude i don't know if the 7010 is gonna be a brett you think the 7010 can pull her oh i think it will okay okay Thank, but one of, the, one of the nice things that you guys told me to do is get front wheel assist and thank god we got front wheel assist because the two wheel drive version oh that'd be a lot tougher 
to pull it even. So, a Cum okay, Cummins can pull her pretty easy, but obviously we're just wheeling it over there. That's nothing compared to once we drop her in the ground. You know what I want to try, guys? You know what I really want to try this on? I want to try it on Lil Blue. Lil Blue. Can't she pull the disc? Because, like, last video you guys were saying, Lil Blue, dude, pulling the gravity wagons, that's nothing. Anything can pull the gravity wagons, man. That's nothing. How about you pull the disc? What are you guys thinking? Should we try Lil Blue out there? I just want to... Dude, I want to try the little blue on here just to see if it can pull, uh, pull her. Now, when I go to buy the disc in here, it says we need 400 horsepower. Brett, do we have a 400 horsepower tractor around here? I, okay, okay. I I, so. Yeah, I was going to say, so. I don't think so. Maybe the combine, but it's, uh, it, no, no way the combine's 400 horsepower, but yeah. We don't have a 400 horsepower tractor, so it's gonna it's gonna be a little tough. Now, little blue, maybe, maybe I I did some modifications to the engine. She maybe has 400 horsepower. I'm gonna try a little blue on here, guys. I just just first. I know it's so unrealistic. We we gotta have a little fun, you know. So I'm gonna throw a little blue on the land all just quick, real quick, and see if it can pull her. I'm I'm curious to see if it can. I'd just love to see if it if it could. It'd just probably be the the rear wheels are probably just gonna be spinning the whole time. I bet. Now if it was a ripper and it had it doesn't even have shanks on it, so it's not as bad. I feel like I feel like rippers are the tough to toughest to pull, obviously, because they just go insanely deep into the ground. Let's not take out a sign. Oh, we didn't take out a sign yet. Oh, sweet Brett. Oh, you're going quick. He's getting her done up there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll drop the disc off here. They're actually I'll just. Okay. Okay. At the end, we're gonna ch we're gonna try a little blue at the end. We gotta get working. We can't mess around too much. We gotta get helping uh, Brett. And I need to get course play. Is what I need to get. So we can have a lot of equipment running at the same time. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna park the disc just right here. Seventy eight ten is actually out right now. I'll park the truck just right up by the house. Okay. I need to move that trailer up there too. I just got the trailer sitting in my driveway right now. I'm just gonna park the truck up here. Oh, we did not want to hit Lucky. Lucky was just standing there. Oh, good boy, good boy, Lucky. There he goes. Okay, he's okay. He's wagging his tail. I was like, he's not moving. He's not lucky. He's not moving. He's just standing there. Okay, so oh shoot, I should, I, dude, I need to keep doing manual attach. I always forget to do manual attach. Brett, do you do manual attach at all, or do you just hit Q and just do automatic attach? Uh, I do a little bit of both. Yeah. See, oh, I'm I'm surprised you remember to remember, cause like most of the time I I forget and I just hit Q. But this time, we're actually going to get out an attacher. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was so stupid. Somebody said, I was asking what this little bar is that's sticking out. See that? See that little green bar, guys? And that is actually for that top three-point link. So when you're not using it, it goes in top of there. Some guy commented. I was like, yeah. Dude, we have that on our, our utility tractor at home. I was like, why didn't I even think of that? But uh, there we go. Okay, we should be good right there. I don't know why we were zoomed out so far. Sweet. There we go. We're hooked up. And what I gotta do is I gotta throw a quick in. Uh, we're gonna back her up. We're gonna back her up. See if you can back her up. There we go. Oh, by the way, guys. So I'm gonna start some type of new mapper series. We can't do this series every single day. I know how fun it is. I love doing it. But we can't just, you know, every single day. Not every day. So we're gonna switch her up a little bit. I'm gonna start some type of new farming series. I was gonna do cotton or I was gonna do like old school. Real, real old school. There's a cool like 50s. Uh, come dodge power wagon truck that I was going to get and stuff that'd be pretty cool I feel like okay 7810 dude the 7010 looks good on her doesn't it, it it's a little small I gotta admit 7010 is a little small <clears throat> this is gonna be kind of a challenge pulling it but I think it'll it should do fine it's a little muddy out too because it just got dug on got done raining okay Brett where yeah I can't oh there you are you're way down there okay all unfold ho oh, ho and jump on your path way down here do we want to start going across the field? <clears throat> I, um, could, I could, we could do some, or actually I'll just do another lap around here so we have room to turn around. Oh okay. dude, it pulls at nine mile an hour. Oh sweet. We're good dude, we're good. Now I, I feel like usually you should have like an 8R on here, like an 82 or 83 on here would be best. But dude, this, oh dude, the ground animations on this land are sweet. Look at it. Look at it. I like it. I like it, dude. And we can pull at 9 mile an hour, which is pretty good. Brett, how fast are you pulling at? I'm curious. Um. You're about 9. Oh, you're able to get up to 9, too. Okay, sweet. 
There we go. They, dude, 70 10. She pulls good. Look at it. 70 10 just going across here. I, dude, I like this tractor, guys. I like this tractor. This is a sweet tractor. I would have liked two wheel drive, but now that we now that we got the disc, I'm like, thank God we got front wheel assist here. Now, some people call it four wheel drive. Some people call it front wheel assist. I think the correct term is front wheel assist. You know, I'm not good with correct terms, by the way, guys, because I say stuff all, wrong all the time. But technically, four wheel drive would be like your big. 9400 or your big tires in the front technically i think i think correct me if i'm wrong i guess but we're just gonna roll along here now i'm thinking we could brett me and you we could do uh we could do some vertical tillage meaning uh just going like diagonal across the not vertical tillage but uh just trying to go diagonal across the field just don't not going like straight with the rows like like for example we just go straight across there then just go diagonal which should help it a little better so we'll each do a whole lap around the field and then we'll start going like diagonal across the field i think that'll be sweet if we can get that done but dude we <laughs> we have so much ground oh dude we guys we gotta we gotta there's still a lot of corn to get out of the ground all of that over there it's not like the game's not loading it up over there but that's all corn over there along there there's so much to get done okay i'm gonna put this on cruise control there we go we're just rolling along here guys is nine mile an hour is nine mile an hour too fast or what you guys thinking it's good it seems pretty quick, but I guess we're till we're doing tillage. And it's not like it's a ripper or anything. We should be good. The bas I like the baskets in the back. The animation, dude. The animations on this land are perfect. I love it. Okay, dude. We we had those wheels in the air back there. Oh, there we go. Okay, I should be able to catch up to Brett, and then we're gonna start. I gotta figure out what what's the best way. Maybe we'll just go. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's what best way to go diagonal. Oh shoot, do you guys see it? Sometimes it looks like it's leaving. Oh no, I don't think it is. Or kind of it is. See, it makes it plowed and then the baskets come by and then they cultivate the thing on the back end. But over there, we missed it a little bit. There's a couple spots where it was just plowed up, but hopefully we should be good, I think. Yeah, we should still be good. Because look, look, you can see it gets plowed and then the baskets come by and then they technically like finish it off like a little finisher and they just cultivate it, which works great. Um, Okay. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go up to the top. I gotta figure out the best way across this field. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a cut across this field, Brett. Uh, I'll lift her up quick. And then I'm just gonna go start going across this field. Hopefully we can get her. I'm gonna go diagonal right across this field here if we can. I gotta make sure I get this perfect. See, there's a little section over here that's plowed, guys. Okay, I gotta set my marker. Here we go. Uh, we'll go along with this. We'll we'll just go right here. There we go. This is sweet because they were planted up and down, and now we're kind of just going across it, which will work the ground a little better. There we go. Sweet. We're just gonna do. We're gonna be knocking this thing out. Sweet. And then eventually, I plan on hiring out a. We'll probably hire out a worker, and then we're gonna go get those combines run, and we're gonna start harvesting. We're not gonna get far at all. But we're gonna we're gonna really get far in the live stream, I think. We're just gonna we're gonna be harvesting corn all live stream. It's gonna be big. We'll probably have a couple people on here, I bet. Maybe we can get Nathan and Owen on here. Um I'm trying to think you know what? I could probably get some of you guys on here too. To harvest too. We we do we could do that. We could do that probably. I'm hoping we could do that. What's nice is I love these. I love the marker in the front. Now some some brands don't have the marker in the front, but I love how John you puts a marker in the front and you can just set it right between the rows and you're gonna be perfectly straight. As long as the rows were playing straight, I guess, too. There we go. Look at that. It's perfectly straight right along there. As long as we're still in the row. Oh, we were out a little bit. Unless we just got off. There we go. Okay, now, Brett. Uh, do you want to fo follow me now? And we'll just roll together. Um, I'll lift this up. Sweet. Brett's going to follow me along here. Oh, see, there was a little section that's plowed. But, Brett, do you think that matters? Like, if I plant corn on the plowed ground, do you think I got to cultivate it first, technically? I just don't want like corn to get screwed or when I plant for it to get screwed up or anything like that. I think I I think I should be good. Hopefully I hopefully I should be good. Okay. Um do you have a little pl uh planting marker on your tractor too in the front? By the way. I don't know if you know what I mean. There's all this little like chrome piece on on the 7810 just right in the front of it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, Brett's going on the other side right along there. We, dude, we're going to get this done quick, boys.
looking up at a tree I remember how it started I was lost in a dream When the fire in my heart said An open rose I've already found sunlight The feeling grows And anything sounds all Guys, we're just knocking her out. Me and Brett have been going ham, just listening to some music. I'll turn on the music. Why not? Got to just right down the middle, dude. This is perfect. This is perfect. I love, I love Till and Diagonal. There's Brett just right behind me with the case. He's just rolling at nine mile an hour too, getting her all done. Hopefully, I'm staying in the middle. Yeah, we should be good staying there. It doesn't even matter that much. Too bad we didn't have GPS rolling right now. Actually, that'd be nice. But what I'm gonna do. Let's see if we got music. Country radio. Got it. Got it going. There we go. And then, dude, yeah, we're going to be done with this so quick. And then, yeah, we're just going to move straight on to harvesting some corn. I think we'll be able to get the headers on and maybe jump into the fields. We got to. Okay, so, Brett, you cannot let me forget to, har to get the part that we missed, like, down on this field, like, down at the end way over there. The, um, the corn that's still standing over there. Oh, shoot. I got to wait for you okay. quick. I was going to say. I was about to just jump in there. Then I would have ran straight on with Brett. Okay, he's finishing there. I'll back up so that way I can actually... There we go. Go ahead. And then I got to line up quick here. We'll see. I always... Okay, so it's four or five rows. Okay, I think, I think we'll be able to get it here. Okay, we should be good. As long as I stay here, we should be able to knock this out. We'll just stay... Okay, so how many rows is it? It's like five or six, probably. It's This is probably the sixth row, I'm guessing. Yeah, six row over. Oh, yeah, we're knocking her out. Just right it on here. Sweet, dude, we're knocking this out so quick. I, dude, I like this land all day, so you guys gotta let me know what you guys think of it. Oh, and so technically, I guess, uh, there we run at 9.5 mile an hour. You can see it right there on the dash. We run at 9.5 mile an hour. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, so technically, it should round up to 10 mile an hour on like our GPS scene over here, right? 9.5 rounds up to 10. But I don't know if that thing's just accurate or what. That's it's saying 9.5 right there. Hopefully it's accurate, it should be accurate. There we go, dude. I like it. Sweet. Now, we haven't got stuck yet. Too bad. Dude, I'm hoping in FS19 we get mud to where, like, it rained and you can't climb this hill with your tractor because you're just spinning all the way up. You know, that would be sweet if we get to those, like, effects. Is the tractor getting dirty? On the mud flaps? Oh, yeah. She's getting a little dirty. Okay. I'm going to lift her up. And then, sweet. Brett's coming there. I'll just swing wide. And then I should be able to just make my turn here and just jump in right not long here. And we're gonna we're getting her done quick. Okay, I gotta choose my lane now. Um what one? We usually go five or six over right here. Oh, this might be a little too far out. Hopefully the ditch can the disc can reach out. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good going right here. And then Brett's just rolling the like next to me. Dude, this is perfect. This is perfect right now. Sweet. Now all we need is some food. We just need some sandwiches now. Maybe we'll have to go into town. Okay. So what do you guys think? 7810, how's it look? How's it look on the land all? How does the land all look? I think the 7810 looks sweet. It may be a little underpowered for this though. That's the one thing. I'm thinking technically it can pull out 9 mile an hour right now, but it it may be just a little underpowered, it seems like. And dude, this tractor's nice. The effects on it, everything. Dirt. It's got all the dirt effects. Some tractors they won't have dirt effects. Like, Brett, does that do you think that Magnum has dirt effects? Oh boy, I think we were off a little bit, guys. But does that Magnum get dirty, Brett? I know the disc does. The disc gets insanely dirty over there. Um, hmm. You see any dirt on there? Not right now. Oh, uh, okay. Even the land all gets dirty. Look at the land all, guys. Hopefully I'm pronouncing Yeah, land all. Yeah, no, land, no, all, land all is kind of dirty on the top of no, it. No, I see it's getting dirty. <laughs> disc. Dude, that disc looks like it's rusted out. That disc, I can't believe how dirty that disc actually gets. Okay, I'm going to follow Brett here. It looks like it's just rusted out completely. Okay, we should be able to get this one done here. Sweet. Oh, I'm going to get up close to Brett here. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just rolling right alongside him. There we go, dude. Sweet. Okay, you're actually probably... It seems like you're going fast. Oh, maybe not. I think we're holding the same speed right now. I was gonna, yeah, we're holding the same speed. Sweet. And then we can put these bad boys away because we don't have anything else to 
Beanfields, I'm not I'm not tilling up beanfields at all. Maybe we'll oh dude one thing I want to apply in hydrus in the spring. I want to get in hydrus things because I've seen them farm sim and I will start applying them in the spring. That would be awesome if we could get that done. I want to I want to I wanna do that. That's one thing we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna start folding them up and then head back to the farm quick. We can just do it on the go. There we go. Sweet. Um, where's the entrance? Oh, it must be down here yet too. Sweet, dude, we knocked that out so quick. We're gonna be able. Oh, dude, this can fun now with the land all. We can knock out the field so quick. I'm gonna turn this radio off quick so you guys can hear me a little better and I can hear myself a little better. But, dude, this can's fun with the land all. Brett, how'd the Magnum? How'd the how'd the uh, Case IH disc pull? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, dude, we need, one thing we need to do is we need to compare those lengths on them. I I think. Obviously, mine's bigger, but I'm, I'm curious to see how much bigger it is. Okay, for now, let's leave the 7810 just connected and your the Magnum just connected, and we'll shoot. Um, as long as we don't have to fill up anything, we could just put them back here, I'm thinking, for now. We'll just pull them back here. Man, I don't know where else to put them. Okay, hopefully we don't have to move any of the... Uh, hopefully we don't have to fill up with any diesel or anything like that, but we'll just put them back here These guys are ready to roll dude. Those with those guys work together the, the, the K the Magnum and John Deere they work together great Okay now and so does Gleaner and the John Deere combine up here. We got we're gonna Okay, Brett you want Gleaner or you want the John Deere? Oh wait, oh Brett Brett dude. We got to get the t the little blue we got I said I was gonna do it We're putting little blue on the disc the land all quick Oh, Brett, this is gonna be this is gonna be sweet. Okay, this is gonna be a test of skill now. Oh yeah, can blue on blue though? We we do have blue on blue. Okay, I'm gonna unhook this out down here. I don't know. Okay, I'll just disc up this soybean field for a little bit. What we'll do? I'm curious to see if she'll pull it. Brett, do you wanna do the honors and pull the 7810 out? Yep. Sweet. There we go. Okay. Hopefully, I'd, oh man, I gotta get around this power washer. I kind of placed the power washer in a bad spot. <laughs> now, this doesn't have duels or anything. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be, okay. Here we go. Oh wait, dude, I can't, I gotta get around this power washer. Shoot, okay, can you put, yeah, there you go. Sweet, I'm gonna come your way quick and then I'm gonna jump out in the field. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just gonna go straight across. <laughs> Dude, we'll okay. We're going downhill. I I need to get on level ground. I'm not disking yet. Um, cause cause I feel like that's kind of cheating. Okay, well yeah, this is more level. Okay, well obviously it pulls it through the field fine. I don't have it down on the ground yet though. It doesn't turn tight though. Okay, here we go. Well, we're just gonna have marks across this field. It's gonna look so weird. Okay, she's down the ground. Dude, it pulls it at nine mile an hour. <gasps> oh my gosh. Little oh blue, God. you beast. Okay, I don't think the disc has any like restriction on how fast you can go, guys. I think that's what's happening. But, <laughs> but little blue, look at little blue just pulling it at nine mile an hour. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Okay, we're gonna fold her up. Obviously, I won't do that because that's like super unrealistic. But that's sweet. Little blue works on her. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, if we're ever down track, dude, we always know little blue will work now. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh shoot. Okay, yeah, I'll just pull all the way around here, and then I'll have you back, I'll unhook, and I'll have you back to 7010 just right up to the disc again. We'll just keep rolling. Okay, I'm not sure if we're going to get the combines out, actually, guys. I'm not, uh, we'll get them hooked up. We'll get them hooked up, right, for a bit. I don't think we'll get harvesting, though. Okay, I'm going to drop this. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little blue away. She's had a tough day so far pulling that disc. And then he's going to hook up the 7810. And then, oh wait, did you say you won the Gleaner or the John Deere? Uh, John Deere. Okay, I'll jump into Gleaner then, and then we'll put on the corn heads quick. Um, oh shoot, we jumped in the new hall, or we jumped, yeah, we jumped in the new, or little blue. Oh, we keep jumping in a little blue. Um, there we go, now we're in the Gleaner. Sweet, and Brett's coming around. Okay, I gotta have you... I think I gotta have you back out of there first because I don't think I can fit through here with the combine in the way. So if you just want to pull forward. The Gleaner's all fired up. She's ready to go. We got the straight truck in here. There we go. Sweet. Okay, um, Cornhead's just right here quick. Oh, there we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Okay, I gotta jump out. Attach. Sweet, we're attached. Okay. Um, okay, just... Park, your, park the combines in the main lot, and then we're gonna get harvesting. Um, okay. 
I'll attach you up here. I'll jump up here and attach you. Okay. Tell me when. Okay. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Hop back in there. Park her up here. And we're ready to rock and roll. Dude, guys, the live stream's coming. Hopefully, I see you guys at the live stream later tonight. Hopefully, you guys are there. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. Thanks for watching, guys. 